Hello everyone. Welcome to Holistic Workshop. We are suffering from a problem of plenty with our grocery stores inundated with different kinds of cooking oils, each claiming for a spot in our kitchen. Today we break down the good, the bad and the ugly of cooking oils. We need 30 to 35 percent fat in our diet, which could be saturated or unsaturated fatty acids. Studies have shown that lowering LDL or bad cholesterol lowers heart disease. However, in the Women's Health Initiative, lowering dietary fats did not show any difference in cardiovascular outcomes. Fat could be saturated or mono or polyunsaturated fats. The polyunsaturated fats are further subdivided into omega-3 or omega-6. Omega-3 is high in mustard and canola oil, also present in flax oil or hemp oil. Remember, omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. Omega-6, abundant in vegetable oils, are pro-inflammatory. Both are essential, compete with each other. Our concern should be the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. This table shows the omega-6 to 3 ratio of commonly used oils. Mustard and ghee have the best ratios. All saturated fats do not behave the same. The medium chain fatty acids have different biological properties. I have listed the common dietary saturated fat on the right. Chocolate or stearic acid can lower LDL. However, palmitic acid or red meat increases the bad cholesterol, so they all behave differently. Several studies, though, question the link between saturated fat and coronary disease. The meta-analysis here shows no association between saturated fat and heart disease. A second study of 32 studies looked at the type of fat and only trans fat, which is processed refined oil or fat, shows heart disease. This shows that perhaps the answer we are looking for may be simple. Stay away from highly defined processed food, eat natural organic food. The industrial production of oil, of extracting the last drop using heat and solvents such as hexane, has introduced toxins in our food chain. We need expeller pressed or cold pressed oil, which is healthiest oil but more expensive. So having learned this, let's go through our list of cooking oils. First up is extra virgin olive oil, high in monounsaturated fats, moderate smoke point, which is good for dressings, and medium heat sautéing. However, there is not enough olive oil to feed the entire world, so it has led to widespread fraud. So exercise caution and look for the DOP or the DOC symbol of authenticity. Several studies have solidified the reputation of olive oil as a heart healthy oil. This study shows 70% secondary risk reduction. This is the Lyon Diet Heart Study. And the famous study, the Predimet study, shows a 30% primary risk reduction for coronary events in folks on Mediterranean diet, which is basically olive oil. Next, let's dive into coconut oil. It's mainly medium chain fatty acids, in particular lauric acid, which is extremely rare in nature, and their source is human breast milk. It has a high smoke point with amazing health benefits. Smoke point is where an oil can actually start to burn and become carcinogenic. In a study, a daily consumption of four tablespoons of coconut oil versus olive oil or butter shows significant reduction of LDL or bad cholesterol, increased of HDL or good cholesterol, and decreased CRP, which is a marker of inflammation. Another amazing oil is avocado oil, 
it is 70% monounsaturated fats with a high smoke point and great for high heat cooking. I have given you the references here. It has significant cardiovascular benefits and I use this oil a lot. It should be in your kitchen. Number four in our list is an exotic oil called the mustard oil. It's high in mono and poly unsaturated fats, high smoke point, great for frying, the best omega-6 to omega-3 ratio and improves the lipid profile. Number five is sesame oil, best for low heat sauteing, rich in minerals and vitamins. It lowers blood pressure and significantly improves the lipid profile. I've given the references below. In a study using four tablespoons of sesame oil, there was significant reduction of LDL, bad cholesterol, triglycerides, and total cholesterol. Number six in our list is a gem of an oil, ghee, or clarified butter. Although it's mostly saturated fat, it has tremendous health benefits, has no lactose or protein, so great for folks with lactose or gluten sensitivity. It's a great oil to use. Number seven is peanut oil. It also has a very high smoke point. And I use it for adding as a dressing or for deep frying sometimes. Again, sparingly. Next on the list is organic canola oil. Now, unfortunately, this has been processed to death. So one needs to find organic non-GMO product as it has a high smoke point and a great omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. Nuts have shown tremendous health benefits. So number nine and 10 on our list are almond oil and walnut oil. Almond is rich in monounsaturated fat and walnut is rich in polyunsaturated fats. And both these oils lower cholesterol. Last oil on our list is grapeseed oil. It is 70% polyunsaturated fatty acids, high smoke point, so you can use it for deep frying, again buy organic. Please invest your time buying the right oil. We use all the oils which we have discussed today. Please avoid processed, refined, genetically modified, hydrogenated toxic oils such as cottonseed oil, soybean oil, sunflower and safflower oil, and corn oil. They do not believe now, they do not belong in our food chain. Please begin your journey towards health and happiness, and thank you for visiting Holistic Workshop. Have a great day.